Hey guys, out here in the garage today. One of the questions I get all the time is how do I wire up one of these generic universal hot rod turn signals into that uh, Speedway wire harness? Well, let's spin around, let's go over to the workbench and take just a couple minutes and I'll show you how I accomplished it. Okay, what I'm holding here is just a generic Con Mutador brand hot rod turn signal switch. You can get these in lots of different brand names in lots of different places. I got this one off Amazon and it was less than 20 bucks. You can get them for a lot less than that at a swap meet even. You find them used in different places, sometimes on sale. But for 20 bucks, this actually works out to be a pretty good uh, turn signal set up for your old hot rod. The question a lot of guys have though is how do you wire this in to something like the Speedway 12 circuit wire harness, or if you have a similar harness, there's some, a lot of generic brands out there that are basically the same thing. The problem with these wire harnesses are that they are set up very well for like a GM column application. They have a great plug. If you have a GM column, which I've used before, it just plugs right in, all your turn signals, everything work, it's beautiful. But if you don't, like if you're working on something like the Model A you saw in the opening of this video, then you got to go with something like this, and it isn't exactly plug and play. I get a lot of guys that ask how to do it, and I just want to show you guys very simply and quickly how to make this happen. I'm going to bring you in close. We're going to look at some diagrams, and I'm going to try to explain it the best I can. Okay, again, Speedway gives wonderful instructions. I highly uh, recommend this kit or any of the similar kits you might find there on eBay or swap mates or whatever, just a generic 12 circuit kit. But let's get back to the turn signal. How am I gonna make this $20 unit work with this kit? Well, if you follow Speedway's instructions, which they have pretty good instructions that come with the kit, uh, you'll get to the point where it talks about the turn signal and column switches, and it's again set up for a GM style column. It even tells them it's made to function with a GM style. Spoiler alert, all we're gonna use out of all this stuff for uh, making this generic turn signal switch work are going to be these uh, two of the wires, either a brown or a purple, a switch hazard, or the um, switch feed. Now, we're gonna come back to this in a minute, and in fact, in a few minutes, I'm gonna take you into the underneath the dash of the car and show you exactly how I wired it up. But the, the trick is identifying how they have their setup. The Speedway kit uses two of these guys, two two-prong uh, flashers. One is for your, for your uh, turn signals, and then one is going to be for your hazard lights. And it's two different circuits that make them work. And it works well, again, if you have that GM column. If you don't, these don't work right. Uh, there's probably more, one, more than one way to skin that cat, but here's the way I skinned it. This is a three-prong flasher. Pay attention to what you buy. Some of these are specifically for LED bulbs, but I just got the generic old three prong from my local uh, O'Reilly. And they're gonna have different labels on them. Some of them are uh, labeled a K, uh, but most of them are gonna have an L and a P. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to wire this thing in to make this generic switch work. Okay, on the back of the box here, uh, on these kits, and most of them have this, is a little wiring diagram. That's kind of hard to see. I drew it out a little bit bigger so that we can focus on exactly what I wanted to talk about here. Here's your switch, and this is basically a copy of their wiring diagram up here. The, the top half is pretty straightforward. Your red wire goes to your stoplight switch, whatever that looks like. The other side of your stoplight switch coming off of a hot wire. Your yellow wire going to your left front turn, uh, left front turn signal. Your green wire going to your right front turn signal and then your brown wire and your orange wire are back at the rear of the car for your right turn signal and your left turn signal, respectively. But then right here, this is where the magic happens on making this switch work with this, this kit. You use the black wire out of it and the blue wire out of this, and then you're only gonna use one hot wire from the Speedway or generic wiring harness to the other side of the three-prong flasher. Here's how it's set up, okay? Again, this is just like this three-prong three flasher with a P, an X, and an L. I've seen it with a K and an L and a nothing, uh, or a P and an L and a K, but just know this is your general configuration. And to be honest, if I'm right on how this little uh, flasher works, you can even swap these and it should work the same. Here's how we're gonna do this. You're gonna pull your blue wire out of the harness on your hot rod 
turn signal kit here, you're going to pull the blue wire and you're going to send it to the top prong, to the P prong on your three-ray flasher. You're going to take the black wire and it's going to go to the L prong. And then from somewhere in the car, a positive wire, either keyed or constant hot, you're going to come in here to the X. Now, this keyed or constant hot, that's up to you. If you have keyed power, your turn signals are only going to work when your key's on. If you use constant hot, which is what I did, then your turn signals uh, will work once the car shut off. Turn signals I don't care so much about when they're shut off, but my hazards I do, right? This thing has a hazard function in it in, the, uh, in here with the big red switch. That's your hazards. If you want your hazards to work with the key turned off on the vehicle, then you gotta use constant hot to this X side or K side of the three-way flasher. Now, let's talk specifically about where this wire comes from in this kit. There are several different ways to go about finding a hot wire. Again, it doesn't really matter which one you have. You might find the choke wire or something is something you don't use uh, on the choke of the car, so you can just reroute it and go to power your universal turn signal. I broke it down and took it, looked at my two wires that were power wires for my turn signals, and then the power wire that went to the other original two-pronger in the kit, uh, two-prong flasher, for my hazards. And I pulled the one that was from hazards because that one was constant hot. And I just took that one wire, unloomed it from where it was going, and I routed it right over into this, into the um, X side of my three-prong flasher, okay? Hook it up like that. This thing has all the logic inside of it to make your left turn, right turn, uh, and your flashers work, and they work. your brake lights will work through that too. That's where this switch comes in. All that logic happens in this universal kit here, or universal turn signal. Let's go climb under the car. I'm gonna show you how this ties into the wire harness and uh, hopefully give you some proof on how this thing works. Mario. How does this thing work in the car? It works so perfectly. Let's go check it out. Forgive me for a little bit of a wiring mess here, but here's how it's set up in the car. Now this is, I think, like a headlight plug that was just hanging out in the car or maybe, or hanging out in the uh, wire harness, or maybe it was one that only had two wires pinned in it for the one of the two-way flashers to plug into. I just repurposed it and I put my third wire in there to make this three-plug flasher work. And again, Here's exactly how I have those wires tied up. Here's my column, there's my, there's my switch. The wires for it come around underneath like that. And right up here you can see I have my blue wire and my black wire tied into one of these different ones that go right in there. And then I have coming out of the wire harness of the car, this brown wire, which if I roll, zoomed in on the print on it, if you could see that, it would say hazards because that is a constant hot from the hazards. This, I just roll this wire up, tuck it up underneath the dash where it doesn't dangle down and uh, works like a champ. All right, friends. I sure hope you found this video interesting or at least helpful to you. If you are trying to wire up one of these universal turn signal switches, if you uh, have any questions, please don't be afraid to put a comment down below. I answer all my comments or send me an email at badombregarage at gmail.com. You can look down in the description and find uh, a link to that. Okay, I sure appreciate you guys watching and follow along. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching this today. If you guys wanna see more of some tech stuff like this, check out the rest of my channel. There's lots of stuff about how we worked on the old Model A and got it to where it is today. Sure appreciate you guys following along. Hit the subscribe button, share with a friend. We'll see you on the next video.